Hi everybody, this is Don Pren with Innsmark, and uh, I wanted to just take a couple minutes and explain to you the new comparison of plan costs presentations that we've we've added in the Innsmark illustration system, and that Bob was talking about uh, in uh, blog 184. So, first things I'm going to show you what you're looking at here is this is a various financial alternatives presentation. And what I'm going to show you at the beginning is what you've seen many times in the, in the past over many years is one of our most popular illustration presentation modules, which is various financial alternatives. So I'm going to show you that, then I'm going to show you the new uh, enhancements that we've added and get into some of the detail on this. We, we think this is one of the most important enhancements we've ever done to the Innsmark software. So uh, we think this will be extremely helpful to you in explaining to clients and their advisors why cash value life insurance uh, can outperform alternative investments as a retirement accumulation vehicle. So continuing here, this you're, what you're looking at right now is the various financial alternatives preface. I'm just going to scroll down to the comparison of values page. And again, many of you have seen this before. Here you have 85000 a year, 20 pay, then starting at retirement, we took $290,000 out a year. And we're comparing the Universal Life, Index Universal Life product with a taxable bond fund, a tax deferred account, and an equity account. So three alternative investments. As you can see, as we start taking $290,000 out a year, the taxable bond fund is depleted by age 74. The tax deferred account, which is actually an annuity, is starting to decline pretty aggressively here. Then the equity account's doing the best with about a million three. The life insurance contract still has 2.6 million in cash value, 3 million, 3.1 million of death benefit. And then if we go to the next page, here's out from age 76 to age 100, or age 95 actually, you can see that all of the alternative investments have depleted and the life insurance policy continues to uh, do well. And I know you've all seen this various financial alternatives presentation before. One of the questions that comes up when clients look at this is they say, well, why does the life insurance contract do so much better? And what we're going to show you is this is our new comparison of plan cost presentation. And this is going to help you answer that question that the client has. You know, what, what's the mechanics for why this is performing so much better in terms of producing tax-free income uh, during retirement. So what you're seeing here is, again, the taxable bond fund, the tax-deferred account, and the equity account. And what we're doing is we're comparing each different investments, whatever the taxes were in a given year, plus the management fees. So for example, the taxable bond fund in year one had total taxes and management fees of $3,115. The annuity, this is a tax deferred annuity, didn't have any fees or, or taxes due until we started taking money out of retirement. And then the equity account had some taxes and some fees, a total of $2,012. The index universal life contract had mortality charges and administrative expenses of $13,465. So in year one, a significantly higher cost with the index universal life contract versus these other investment alternatives. But let's look out at year 10. Well, in year 10, because here's your annual column and then your cumulative column, in year 10, the cumulative costs with the index universal life contract, mortality and administrative expenses, $161,024. The equity account, $160,000. The uh, tax deferred account, still no costs related to that. And the taxable bond fund, $186,000. So it's starting to be a horse race here. Now, if we go out over 30 years, Take a look at this. The taxable bond fund in taxes and fees cumulative over the years, over 30 years, 1,127,000 of total cost to the client. Tax deferred account, 1,161,000 in, in taxes that had to be paid to, when those distributions started coming out. The equity account in fees and taxes over the years, 1,503,000. And look at the life insurance contract, cumulative mortality and expense 341,000. You can see this down here in the summary. You'll see these numbers have been summarized in these cumulative plan costs. 
and yet the index universal life contract still produces as much tax-free income as any of the other alternatives at a much lower cost. And so, if we go to the second page here, where we're looking at from age 76 to age 95, what you're going to notice, again, looking at the summary here, is even though these alternative investments were largely exhausted after about age, age 80, even with a, all of the mortality costs and administrative expenses of the life insurance contract all the way through age 95, which is about 10 years past this individual's life expectancy, we still only have total costs of a million dollars versus a million six with the equity account, a million one with the tax deferred account, the annuity, and a million two with the taxable bond fund, even though these were all depleted and gone and didn't have any more charges related to them after about age 80. That shows a very powerful summary. And again, look at the tax-free cash flow, 8.7 million versus you know, 4 million or 3 million with the alternative investments. Now, one thing I wanna show you before we move off of this is I wanna show you where, if I come back here, I wanna show you exactly where these numbers came from. So if you look at the taxable bond fund, you'll see it was $3,115 in year one, $6,319 in year two. I'm gonna jump down. In the new comparison of plan costs presentations that you can include here, this is a graph of uh, the green being the cumulative costs inside the policy compared to the cumulative tax and fee costs with alternative investments. So that's just a, a graphical representation. Here's a detailed page on just the taxable bond fund, just to kind of show you how we calculate this. So what you can see here is you've got a management fee of $905, taxes of $2,210, total costs in the bond fund of $3,115, and then your cumulative column. So when you produce these for your clients, in addition to the summary comparison of plan costs, you can also produce these individual detail reports for each alternative investment and show precisely where these numbers are coming from. I wanna make one other point. We are the only software platform that I am aware of where we've built the alternative investments so that we can literally model any type of alternative investment. We can model very complicated equity portfolios with different portfolio turnover rates and dividend and, and how much short and long-term capital gain. The point is because over the years, because we've put so much development into being able to model virtually any different alternative investment strategy, we were one of the very, I don't know anyone else that could calculate these management fee and tax numbers for virtually any type of modeling of any type of alternative investment. So it gave us the ability to produce these reports in a very, very accurate way. The next thing I want to show you is if we go into the Innsmark illustration system, I'm going to show you, I'm now in the various financial alternatives module. In the basic data tab, there's this new section called comparison of plan costs. And if you include it here, it'll ask you for a schedule. And here we need to know from the carrier source proposal, we need, if you're going to run these comparison of plan cost illustrations, we need to know uh, what the total policy costs were. And that's a function of the mortality charges each year plus the administrative charges. And you can, you can enter these a number of different ways. You can either just enter the total or you can enter just the cost of insurance in the total and it'll calculate the admin. In other words, or you can just enter the, um, the cost of insurance in the policy admin and it'll calculate the total. Uh, but this is crucial so that we can then show what the costs are in the policy compared to the alternative investments. Next thing I wanna show you is if I go to the Innsmark Illustration System main menu here, We've added these new comparison of plan costs uh, presentations to three of the modules, the various financial alternatives, which we just reviewed, other investments versus your policy, which is, is just where we compare the life insurance contract to one other investment. So that's really not that different than various. And then we also added it to permanent versus term, where someone says, I wanna buy term and invest the difference versus putting their money in cash value life insurance. Now, this one's important because not only will the client have the cost of the management fees plus the taxes with the alternative investment, they've also got the cost of the term premiums. 
So when you run the comparison of plan cost reports for a client who wants to buy term and invest the difference, boy, it really shows a massive difference in cost between uh, our uh, cash value policy and buying term and buying a, some type of investment. So we are really excited about this new comparison of plan cost presentation. We think it will be a pivotal calculation and presentation that you can use to help convince clients and their advisors of the value of integrating cash value life insurance into an overall uh, retirement portfolio. I want to also make the point that if you, for any reason, you do not have the Ensmark Illustration System software, you can contact Julie Nayeri at Ensmark at 925-543-0514, or you can email her at julien at Ensmark.com. On behalf of Ensmark, this is Don Pren. We hope this information has been useful.